even here? <laughs> What's going on, Guardians? I'm your rifle, and in today's Destiny video, I'm actually going to be going over the Red Bull special mission. And in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Red Bull actually has some special cans for us that have promotional codes underneath the cap of them. And I believe why they added the promotional codes underneath the cap of these cans is well because if you guys remember, there has been some promotional codes in the past that actually have been represented on Doritos bags and people were actually taking pictures of those codes and actually using them beforehand so people were actually redeeming the code and realizing that they bought the Doritos bag for no reason because the code was already redeemed by the people that were taking pictures of the codes and well that freaking sucks it's basically just wasting your money I hope that didn't happen to any of you guys hope you didn't actually redeem a code and it was already taken because that's just some booty that's some booty hole Anywho, how you actually select a special mission after redeeming your code is, well, you're going to have to go to the tower and talk to Amanda Holiday, which is the shipwright lady. She'll give you a brand new mission called Energy Spike. Haha, -ha. I see what you did there, Bungie. Energy Spike? We have to buy Red Bull cans? Oh, I'm just kidding, I don't know if they actually did that on purpose. Anyways, this is actually going to be a new mission type in Patrol that requires a fire team to quickly acquire light by traversing the world and reaching overcharge 3. If they can reach 100% charge in the allotted time, they go into overcharge, which allows them to run it again with boosted charge rates. Completing the mission and reaching overcharge 3 finishes the first stage of this quest. And guys, this is actually quite a large quest line, so keep that in mind. Just because you finish that first part does not mean this quest is over with whatsoever. Anywho, the rewards out of completing this quest, well first off, you are going to get the SR0 Swift River, which is a brand new type of tumbler sparrow. And all in all, in my honest opinion, I actually believe the tumbler looks cooler than this one just because of those flames. The flames just look so freaking awesome on the sparrow. Anyways, yeah, you'll get this sparrow for your first reward out of the quest line. And then in the second segment of the quest, is actually going to be a PvP part. To complete this section of the quest, your fire team actually must each pick up the spark in Rift and score by taking the spark to the enemy Rift. And you have to win three Rift matches. And then the second stage of this quest requires them to form a fire team and jump into any crucible mode together, win three matches, and also complete a match where someone on the fire team has the highest score in the game. Anyways, completing both stages of this quest line will actually reward you with the Joyride Ghosts. It's a brand new spanking ghost, and check it out, guys. In my opinion, I freaking love this ghost just because I love the colors on it. Blue and white is just my forte. Anywho, to unlock the final reward of this quest, you'll actually need to impress Amanda Holiday's titties one last time. To do so, you're going to have to complete two last steps. First, you'll actually need to complete a modified version of the Sunless Cell Strike at level 40, destroying six streakers and taking out a specific Hollow Thrall, which is called the Unstable Core. After doing this, you'll be put back on the timer with 18 minutes to complete the Shield Brothers Strike at level 40. So now you are on a time limit to complete a freaking level 40 strike. If you thought the first time doing Crota Zen was terrifying, well then just wait when you actually have to do this part of the mission. This was actually said by a guy named Mag, which is one of the early players to actually go up and do this quest line. With of course with Flame Sword and Encooch. Anywho, once you end up completing this quest line, you'll end up wanting to return to Manda Holiday, and actually she'll give you a final reward as a consumable item that upgrades the SR0 Swift River to the SR1 Swift River, which is an even faster version of the spare received at the beginning of this quest. And let's just say this SR1 Swift River is going to be a completely new look at sparrow speed. You're going to be going extremely fast and flipping extremely fast that you might just lose control while riding on this sparrow. All in all, though, I'm freaking excited to get my hands on this sparrow, don't get me wrong, but I do like the look of the tumbler sparrow more than I do this one. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining, though. I'm freaking excited once again to actually get my hands on this bad boy. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video. Hopefully you guys did find this video enjoyable and as well as informative. This has been your rifle, and I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of this video as well to leave a like and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with me. It is much appreciated, guys. The continued support continues to help my channel grow, and for that, I can't thank you all enough. But once again, I'm out of here, though. As always, remember to stay safe, Guardians, and don't sleep in pee. Peace out.